So it's almost the Chelsea Flower Show. And one of our main plants, it's probably our focal plant for, for our stand in London, is the King Proteo, Protea Cineroides. Can't really do it without it because the Protea Cineroides is South Africa's national flower. And it's kind of our pride and joy, and it's a very famous flower. And oddly enough, it's grown more in places like Australia, New Zealand, and Hawaii, where the climate is really um, very good for them. But still, I'm on Table Mountain, and I came up here for a specific purpose, and just to come and see how they grow in the natural habitat, how the plant look like, and also with what they grow. As if I want to give that same experience that I am having now around me, to the visitor that we're going to have at the Chelsea Flower Show. Now, Protea cineroides is um, widely spread. It's not a very endangered protea in South Africa and grows on top of the mountains all the way from the Cedarburg right through to Grahamstown. But the plants differ in sizes, shapes and colors. So mostly, most of them are just about a meter high and then have about seven flowers on them. But you do get them like we have here where they're about two meters high. And I think the main reason for this is we haven't had a decent fire here in a while. So when the fire comes through, and well, these fires are quite hot and they burn right to the ground and they shoot out again. That's why they only stay about a meter high. But the flower colors also change. So we have here, we have a light pink, but you do get a dark pink, almost a crimson color. Then you get a silver one, which is a rare one, really sought after. And then you also get like a, a range of pinks, like Barbie pinks and the white, which is a hybrid and which is really sought after for weddings. Now, Proteus and Aroides, where does the name come from? So. Protea comes from the Greek god and the name Proteus. Now Proteus had the ability to change his shape and look whenever he saw fit. Now the guys that described Proteus and Aroides um, thought about that and Protea kind of has the same ability because if you're on Table Mountain, this is how the Proteas look here, go to the Cedarburg, the Proteas look quite a bit different, the Cineroides or the King Protea probably quite a bit smaller, the flowers smaller, and a different color in, in the flower. And if you go to Betty's Bay, they might be bigger, bolder, and darker. But so they change all around where Proteus come from. Cineroides, so when you look at the juvenile flower just before it's going to open, it looks like a globe artichoke, or Cynara, which is the Latin name. Now Cynara, Cineroides, so Protea, Cineroides, after Proteus, the king, or the god in Greece, and Cineroides after the globe to artichoke. Now, I've seen where it grows. It grows with leucospermums, leptospermums. I've got beautiful brunia here, and some um, of the restios. So this is kind of the space I want to create at our Chelsea Flower Show, so that the visitors there see it just as I see it now. Protea Cineroides, next time you see me with these guys, we'll be in London where we arrange them in a big stand.